All right, so guys, I'm about to react <laughs> to my dear future me video, the one I did from last year's birthday. I I tried avoiding it <laughs> all day today because I was nervous just because I remember the raw emotions I was going through while recording that video. So I'm a little bit nervous to watch it because. I don't even remember what exactly I said in the video. I don't remember the content of the video or the context of the video. I just remember the raw emotions. I remember recording it first and then it never it never recorded. And then I had to do it over. But I remember that first time I recorded it, my bottom my eyes out. So, I'm very nervous as to what it was that I actually was talking about to myself, to my future self. So, let's watch it. <laughs> Hey, future me. Ooh. Not even an introduction or nothing. <laughs> I know I'm looking very greasy and shine, but just know this video was done last year. Well, this it was done on your thirty seventh birthday, right? So now you're thirty eight. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. How too. are you? How are you doing? This so me. I'm. I decided I'm gonna do this dear future me video. You know, just so that we can keep check on our progress. So, hey, but it's shiny even. <laughs> Next year, by the time you see this video, by the time you're seeing this video, um, I would have hoped that you would have overcome a few things. You would have gone, you would have um healed and so forth. Uh, first and foremost, we did lunch today. Lunch slash dinner today. So our face is like this. And we're hot and tired and we just and we need to clean up before we can go to bed. Or before we can edit to go to bed. So anyways, I digress. How you do? Because I know this has been a rough year. Well, it really started from last year. Summer when we started just when the corona came and we started losing people in in twenty twenty twenty. Then twenty twenty when we lost we lost our friend to cancer. Mm. That's something that we're still dealing with. I can tell you, um, I am I am in a much better place now concerning the friend that we lost to cancer. I'm in a much better place now concerning that. Um, we lost our uncle to suicide. The uncle losing the uncle to suicide, much better place also. That's something I don't think we even processed i agree whenever we we never processed that well because it was just so sudden and instant no 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 warning no sign well i mean there are always signs but we've all we when it comes to suicide we tend to overlook certain things i want to pay things any mind until when you know it hits the fan and they will start looking into things now we'll be like oh yes yeah 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 the signs were there but it's just one of those things. And we lost another uncle to diabetes. Yeah, and the uncle to diabetes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm mentally and emotionally, I am so much better now, guys. Then we lost the matriarch, our grandmother. No, that's the one I am still struggling with. The grandmother part, though, I don't show it, but... Still struggling with that one. It's so it's one it's one that I I don't think I've accepted that one to even start the processing. It's mm -hmm. weird that she's not here anymore. Still things. And then we lost our great grandmother on top of all of that. So it's been a rough, <laughs> a rough year and a half for us. But we've managed to 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 keep from sinking, even though some days I think we 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 sank. But we didn't drown. Um, but we're surviving. Um, we made it to your birthday. And you had a good day. Surprisingly. Um, you were sad for a lot of this year. You were sad a lot of last year. You fake smile a lot. Oh yes. I remember the fake smiles. And the fake 
Um, yeah, man, my good, the fake, the facade. I, I remember it because it was just so much to deal with. And it was a season where a lot of people were dealing with stuff. And so, I, in my mind, it's like, you don't want, I don't want to burden anybody with my stuff because everybody's dealing with stuff. We were under lockdown for a long time and people were losing their friends and families. And it was just a lot to, to deal with. And you felt like you were fighting alone or you were in a war by yourself. Because it's every man for themselves. That's what my mind processed it. It was every man for themselves. And uh, yeah. <laughs> rough. It was a rough. I don't even think I'm even explaining it properly. But yeah. You, you, you haven't been posting consistently. So I hope that this year you are actually, by the time you're seeing this, that, you know, you would have started posting more consistently and that will fly past 1,000 subscribers and we're almost at 2,000 if we're going to reach 2,000 by, by the time you're seeing this. I can tell you, I have not started posting consistently. Um, we're back to life as it was. When it's not like when we were locked down for like a year and a half and... We were working online, teaching online, so I was always on the computer, always with my phone, as so it was easier to research content and produce content. Now that life is back as back to normal, so to speak, and we have to go out again, it becomes harder now to always be recording and coming up with new content ideas. Honestly, guys, but I'm trying my hardest. Um, putting in the work. But in the work, man, we're supposed to reach 2,000 subscribers I don't by know now. We're gonna reach those. But most importantly, I want you to heal. I don't know we're gonna reach those. I want you to heal from all the hurt that you, you've been experiencing, you know, the loss and all the kind of hurt. May you know what I talk about. Um, heal. That's the biggest thing I want you to take from, from this dear future of me. Healing. Please seek healing. Um... <laughs> And I hope you've been spending a lot more time with God than you are now. Because you look a bit kind of slack off. But because God is a faithful and just God. <laughs> yeah. But girl, you need, to, you need to catch up back on yourself. Honestly, I have, well, I, I still need to work on the relationship with God. Um, I do. I do. And start spend some more time in the presence of God. And not slacking off like back then. Because back then I was dealing with a lot. And I I, I, I I pulled it away. But um you know, there has been restoration. We're good again. Honor him. Cause he's not the cause of anything that's happening in your life. You know. Um I hope I know you find a man. Jesus, girl, a long time. We had the struggles. Long time. So, Still hope I can go see this. Whatever, man. I will look forward to marriage and them something there. That is my biggest hope for you. For us. We're still in the struggles, uh, girl. So, yeah. I hope you've been easy on yourself. I hope you've been taking care of yourself. I'm trying. Um. Yeah. Just be taking care of yourself. And I hope the ministry, I hope you keep surrender next year. Because I know you never keep it, we never keep it this year. We're, we're still, I mean, the country never fully open yet. So we, couldn't just, we never did surrender. But hopefully next year, we'll be back on track. Hopefully. We never keep it this year because of the whole pandemic and the shutdowns and the whatnot. So we never keep, and it's more than just that. You really never keep it because you haven't been in good spirits. You've just been down almost um, almost in a bit of a, a depression, so to speak. But not as bad as once before. But I know you've been having it rough. And so we never keep surrender. We never keep the surrender conference. We never keep the surrender worship experience. Nothing. We we've been turning down bookings but for for ministry everything. for ministry. But so you haven't been ministering, you haven't been singing, you haven't been hosting and planning nothing. You've just been existing because of all you've been going through. You don't want to be thinking about anything right now. Um, and so sometimes you hide behind YouTube and you do your YouTube videos, 
but um even youtube is not even helping anymore youtube has not been your medicine as a, as of lately um girl this a read out my business so jeez talk about transparency i'd like you to know that we i we did about four months ministry this year uh, we did a church tour this year so we were back we're back in the game i've i i we've come a far away we have come a far away girl so again i hope that you've sought healing i hope that you've healed and that by now you're happy and that by now you're happy that's my greatest wish for you i think that i'm happy 38 I'm finds you in happiness that you're no longer you're no longer sad you're no longer up to be faking being happy heal just heal and I hope you've been I hope you've been controlling your PCOS I hope you've finally gone to see the doctor I hope you've get gotten it under control because we've been having serious issues with that so I hope you've been you've I hope you've actually gone to the doctor and taken care of the issue that we've been having regarding PCOS we don't have the issue anymore but I haven't gone to the doctor the issue solved itself over the summer um but we haven't gone to the doctor we still are due a doctor's visit be easy on yourself this i hope you've been easy on yourself because you've been pretty pretty hard on yourself this year yeah i've been easy hope you're still friends with with um with ramona i hope you're still friends with all the people that are in your life now Hey, for me to say, um, I hope you're still friends with Ramona. It means that I was in a really messed up space mentally. Wow. John, I'm glad I did this video. I hope you're well. I hope you are well. Oh my God. I don't plan to get all emotional. I just wanted... To do a check-in so that we can be accountable to ourselves when next year comes we had a good day today it was the first in a very long time we went on vacation last last weekend we did vacation at the grand Bahia, and we had a good time and then we had a good so we've just had a really good december so far give me a give me a give me an update next year please let me know <laughs> do a reaction to this video so i know that you've been doing well so i know that you've come you've come a long way and that we're in a better place a better space a, a better mind i love you i love you and girl find the man the man find the man for you we're single too long girl <laughs> Uh, anyways <sighs> oh what happened anyways i gotta go go get fresh up i gotta go shower and get ready for bed and edit two videos to post tonight and tomorrow so much love girl much love see you in 356 days love you yeah. i like that video Maybe I should do another one for my future self next year. I actually love that video. Wow. It really shows how one season we can be so down and another season we can be so up. So life is worth living. It's worth fighting for because the sun comes. Though weeping endures for the night, joy comes in the morning. Though it may be dark and rough right now, 
there is a light at the end of the tunnel so for so somebody who is probably watching this by chance uh you feel like you're going through a very rough time in life my encouragement to you is hold on just a little while longer hold on to to to, to life hold on to hope that better is coming that better is on its way like when i watch this video i am seeing that last year my walls were closing in on me i can see that last year everything was black i can see that last year i was hanging on to only a string of hope i see that string of hope is what pulled me up and pulled me above sea level so that i am able to stand firm now a whole year later complete different mindset completely different um emotional state and mental state a complete different person than i was a year ago because i was hit hard by certain things and certain events of life but now i am here 2022 about to enter 2023 a changed woman a different person so i encourage you hang on for dear life do not quit do not give up do not quit do not give up much love and thanks for watching the video peace out